Hi YouTube, it's Lena and I'm here today with another foundation review because you guys seem to really like it when I actually could say like this worked with different primers or whatnot. So I think for at least for foundations, that's probably what I'm going to be doing for now on. I will probably still do first impressions for things like primers and lip products and stuff like that. But for this, yeah, we I think we're going to go with reviews. So as you've seen me waving around, we have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in porcelain. And I'm not wearing it right now because I'll go ahead and spoil it for you. I do not like this. <laughs> I cannot figure out a way to make this work. But first, I actually took notes this time so I don't have to read off a computer. Uh, let's go over some of the claims. It, according to the Wet n Wild website, it comes in 20 shades, which is really good. I picked the lightest in porcelain. That was actually a mistake. It is way too light for me. I probably should have point up a shade or two, but I thought, you know, it's the lightest shade they have. That's probably what's going to work for me. I was wrong. The price is $5.99, which is why so many people are excited about it because it's a really cheap foundation, really inexpensive foundation, I should say. Some of the claims are light adjusting complex to prevent a white cast. Tested under seven different light conditions, made with matte light diffusing complex. What is a light diffusing complex? Could somebody tell me? Because the Wet n Wild website said that like four times, and I still don't know what that means. <laughs> so, first off, this smells like paint. It, it, it takes a while to dissipate. So, if you are sensitive to smells, right off the bat, this is not for you. But it also comes with this stupid paddle. I, I hate this application. I'd rather it be an open bottle than this paddle crap. Ugh. I had to smell it because I couldn't stop myself. It really does smell like paint and it does not immediately dissipate. It sticks and clings for a little bit. So I wore this for four days. I couldn't handle doing it a fifth day and I never went without some sort of primer. Because the first day I wore it, it went so badly that I realized I was going to have to wear a primer for this to even remotely work. So day one, I wore the stuff that I'm panning right now, which is the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur. I use this for my pores. And the Becca Bat Backlight Priming Filter, which is a illuminating primer. This literally no, it was super greasy. It moved all over my face. It looked like tectonic plates moving around my face. I have no better way to describe that. It moved in like chunks. It was so bad. I didn't even take a picture of it. I do have pictures to insert in here, by the way, this time. I wanted to last time, but I switched phones during between making the video and editing it and uplifting it. So I lost the pictures that I had, but this time we do good. So I was like, okay, obviously I cannot wear this with the backlight priming filter from Becca. That's not that shocking. Most foundations I, I have to do crazy stuff to or they're already super matte. That's the only way I can get away with this. So because it worked out so badly, that was kind of surprising, but I was not surprised that it did not work just at the level of badness. So day two, I just wore it with the Miracle Blur because that actually keeps me decently matte. It's it still moved slightly around my nose and if it was less less greasy, but still greasy, but it felt heavy. Like this does not actually feel super heavy on my face. So I know it's not the primers that feel heavy. I know it is something about how it's interacting with the foundation. So for days three and four, I thought, all right, let's break out the big guns. Day three, I tried the Julep Blank Canvas. I have done a first impression on this. I can link it down below for you. This is one of the more matte primers that I have that I know that works because it actually has that same kind of glue consistency that the Becca Evermat has. If I had the Becca Evermat right now, I would have tested that with this because I was like, God, nothing is working with this foundation. I have to you know, bring out the big dogs. No more tectonic plate movement on my face. Still greasy and heavy though. So I for, finally for day four, I was like, all right, I'm gonna try something new that I picked up that I wanted to test on camera, but I need some help with this foundation. And I tried out the Hard Candy Glamouflage Mix and Drops in Make Me Add. You add drops to transform to a matte finish. So, you're getting a little review on this as well, I guess, because I don't have a full opinion on this yet, but I can at least show it to you. It's got this little dropper that you can kind of 
the thing is it doesn't pick up very well so you kind of what i wind up doing is i mix it around the bottle get the product that way and then just kind of mix it in with my foundation supposedly you can use this both as a primer and to literally mix in with your foundation it's mix in drops that's how it's supposed to work and i wore it with the, the chula primer as well it was still heavy it's still this felt like found nasty foundation sitting on my face. That's what I mean when I say heavy. And I don't like that. And I, I know I have to wear kind of hardcore primers, but most of them still don't feel heavy on my face when they're with the right foundations. Also, this time, I think it might have been some weird interaction with this because it didn't do it with the Julep Primer alone. But it started to kind of cake up and... No, not patch off my face in the same way as it did when it was greasy, but it went patchy on me. And every time with everyone, when I blotted it, it came off, like the foundation would come off on the blotting sheets. So as far as the foundation itself, it does have pretty decent coverage. It's light to medium as far as I'm concerned. So here's a picture of me sans face makeup. And then here's a picture of me with the stuff on. Like It does a pretty good job as far as that's concerned. However, I did test the flash photography and I had to take like 10 pictures of myself because when I do the little flip around button on my camera, it doesn't do a flash. So I'm having to go old school and like hold my phone backwards like this and try to punch the button and not make a horrific face while I'm doing it. I got some horrific flashback on this actually, like the difference between my face and my neck was really, really bad. And I don't know if it's just the foundation having flashback or if it's because the color was so light that it just went crazy. The thing is, I did bring it down my neck, so I think it was actually having some flashback. And I know a lot of people have tested this and some people really like it. I know Tati from Glam Life Guru loves this stuff and recommends it to everyone. And I've seen a lot of people test this and hate it just as much as I do. Because I can really only get about four to six hours of wear out of this before pretty much no matter what I do, it starts to get super greasy and heavy and I need to do some hardcore touching up or give up. And depending on the foundation primer I use, it goes completely haywire. So, Unfortunately, I would not recommend this foundation. I'm not even entirely sure who it would work for. I guess you have to be drier or more normal skinned than I do. I am extremely oily. This is something that I've dealt with all my life. And I live in South Louisiana where it is incredibly humid on top of that. So... Maybe just some mixture of the two of those makes it so that this does not work. I will not be keeping this. I don't want to try to pan it. Because like I said, there's no foundation primer that I have that makes this work. I know in theory I could mix this with darker foundations. But quite frankly, I don't want to ruin my darker foundations then and make them chunk off my face in four to six hours. I might not have a job right now, but I still want my makeup to last all day while I do you know, stuff around the house while I go out and run errands, while I do whatever I have to do that day. Like, I have a outdoor wedding this weekend. Cannot wear this, it would fall off my face. And pictures, you know, so I don't recommend that foundation. I mean, it's $5.99. If you really want to try it, go ahead and try it. Just be smarter than I was and hold on to the receipt because I totally lost my receipt which means I have to find some way to get this out of my life. We'll see, nothing else I can probably give it to my sister. I'm going to her house next weekend for a birthday party. So that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.